Yeah, that, that's one of the things that people, um, sometimes record companies forget. They, they tend not to promote um, music within foreign countries because you can't get the product there, but you can. Um, so many people buy modern natural. world. Is, yeah. You know, we have the internet now, and you know, I, I buy records from other territories from, via, you know, online stores all the time. You know, uh, you know, like records that come from Canada or America or wherever or Australia. It, it's bizarre. The world is so small now via the internet. Well, this is it. I mean, I, I, I sometimes think that maybe within a few years, or maybe a bit shorter than that even, record shops or music shops as such won't exist anymore. Um, people will just download and buy the albums that they want. Well, people are saying that, you know, physical product will become defunct. But I think for people of my generation, especially... We like the physical object. We do. I like the little booklet with the <laughs> sleeve notes and the information. And there is something exciting about taking that CD out or that piece of vinyl even and putting it onto a, a, a platter or shoving it into a, um, a machine and, and making it play, isn't there? There's still something magic about that, for me anyway. I love that. Although, you know, I do download things, um, I've never completely got to grips with the you know the concept of um the mp3 which i don't think has the same sound quality to be honest with you as cd or vinyl and you know you, you spend such time making things sound beautiful in the studio and then it's compressed down to this little digital mp3 that <laughs> doesn't have the full bandwidth of sound and it's a bit irritating really from from the artist's point of view yeah, because when, when you hear that sound, I mean, that, that, that's the one thing you can never beat. You can never beat a live sound. And uh, yes, you're right. I'm sure you're right that when you, when you buy something which is a, a piece of plastic or a piece of vinyl, there is that live feeling in there. Yeah, you're getting the full sonic bandwidth, whereas with the MP3, it's kind of reduced somehow and sounds a little bit tinnier, I think. Do you think there's ever any chance of Frankie Goes to Hollywood getting back together again? Well, you know, people say never say never, but I have no real intention of uh, revisiting my past. You know, for me, it was a kind of conceptual pop group, and I, I kind of, in my head, I kind of modelled it on Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, a kind of uh, fictitious sort of occurrence, and uh, I really... Uh, don't want to make that backward step. Also, I don't think I could stand the fuss of it all, you know, um, and the sort of media interest that, you know, that that would sort oh, the, of track, to be honest with you. There certainly would be that. But, yeah, it, it, it is. That's quite a good analogy, actually, um, Ziggy Stardust, yeah. Um, I mean, it started you off, but you have progressed, haven't you? I mean, with, with the, uh, the albums that you've done subsequently and, and the writing that's been done subsequently. Yeah, you know, I've written, uh, or I've really more albums than Frankie ever did. Of course, you know, Frankie was a hugely successful act. Um, but, you know, as you get older, you, you feel that um, you try to avoid any sort of stress in your life. And I think it might be a little bit of a stressful situation for me that if I did, you know, get involved with some sort of reformation of that group. And to be honest with you, I'd rather have a more relaxed life than that and enjoy the moment and good health rather than, you know, working myself um, to a frenzy. Yeah. OK, well, look, Blast should be available on Monday. Um, Cherry Red Records, is, is that the, the email address? www.cherryredrecords.com Cherryred.co.uk, I believe. Right, OK. If not, I'm sure it's going to be available through iTunes and definitely through Amazon. Um, so people can get it. I think the extended version is on, uh, not available on iTunes. Um, the expanded version is a physical product, a CD, a double CD with a DVD. And you will be able to get it from cherryred.co.uk or Amazon, you know, any of those 
right. large internet sites. Well, that's where we'll have to go then. <laughs> um, Holly, it's been fantastic talking to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Lee. And if you ever get the chance to come down to Spain, we would love to meet you. So where are you situated in Spain exactly? We're very close to Malaga. Well, we're in between Malaga and Marbella. Oh, how lovely. Mm, it's not bad. <laughs> See, I, I believe you can sunbathe on Christmas Day. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you lucky people. <laughs> yeah, it is. It has been um, pretty good this year. We have, we've had a fantastic year. It's only, we've only just stopped swimming in the pool, let's put it that way. Oh, well, have a lovely day and enjoy the sun. And you. Thank you so much once again for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Okay. Holly, bye take bye. care. Bye now.